Hi there and welcome to tutorial number 31. Today we're going to be looking at some of the keyboard intros to the songs on Sgt. Pepper's. And um, the although um, synthesizers didn't appear on Beatles albums until Abbey Road, they did have a variety of keyboards that they could use, uh, like a Mellotron, for example. Um, also on the track Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds 505 um, they used a Lowry organ uh, favoured by Pete Townsend of course and the third and final track we'll be looking at today is fixing a hole which starts off with um, George Michael not George Michael George Martin of course playing a harpsichord <laughs> and now we'll look at those sounds in detail okay we'll be looking at uh, recreating the Mellotron flute sound from Strawberry Fields and we're going to go back to an initial setting, which sets everything up from the beginning. Um, instead of using oscillator 1, I'm going to use oscillator 2, and there's a reason for this, I'll show you that in a second. Um, oscillator 2 is going to be an 8 foot waveform, uh, pulse width in actual fact we're going to use for this one, pulse wave, and a pulse wave of 63. <laughs> Um, and um, we're actually going to detune this because the the Mellotron on the track is is actually a bit sharp to concert pitch, and this was probably done with lots of vary speed and stuff like that. So we're going to put that on plus thirty two. There we are, <laughs> slightly disconcerting, but that's the kind of pitch that it was at. Um, and we're going to set up a couple of LFOs. Uh, to form a fluty sound. LFO number one is going to be uh, set up to control the volume which produces a, um, a tremolo effect. Speed 48. Oops, there we are. Speed 48. And depth. Um, let's have a look. Depth 43. And then we're going to set up a vibrato, um, sine wave there, oscillators 1 and 2, speed 48 again. And the depth of that, very small amount this time, plus 9. Okay, and now on to the filter section. Uh, we've got a 12 dB uh, low pass filter this time, cut off 76. There we are, key track 73. We're also going to introduce a little bit of distortion with this drive control at 19. So the reason that the distortion's in there is because the um, Mellotron wasn't a perfect instrument, there was little um, inaccuracies in the sound. Uh, but we're also now going to set up the amplify envelope and we need a tack time 44 and that already sounds sort of melatronic uh, a tack time 44 release 15 release on there um, and no reverb uh, but we need we also need a tiny bit of noise in there as well which is going to be white noise uh, we'll switch the white noise in and we'll need that to be at a level of 46 so that's our basic uh, Mellotron track
and now Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Uh, now, the track Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds also influenced a German band called Tangerine Dream, uh, and this was part from part of the lyric, um, Tangerine Trees and Marmalade Skies. Um, that's incidental, but the, the track was done on a, on a Lowry organ, and as well as sort of organ settings, it had kind of harpsichord settings as well. And this is like one of the sort of harpsichord settings in there. So we're going to go over to the initial setting and we need oscillator one on an eight foot pulse wave and the pulse width is 69. This gives it that thin sort of reedy sound. We're also going to set up LFO one to do a bit of vibrato, so that sort of um, slightly unsettling uh, effect. Speed 48. There we are. And depth 9. Okay, and then the filter that we're going to use is a bandpass filter. This gives a kind of a, a very thin middly sound on a 12 dB slope. And the cutoff there is 92. 92, there we are. Uh, key track 64, so that's bang in the middle. Um, we're also going to use a bit of filter envelope, uh, amount 34. There we are. Attack time 0, decay 50. Sustain 0, release 69. Now we need a bit of release on the filter because we're also going to have a little bit of release on the amplifier section. 66, that's it. And attack time zero. And that's the basic sound, so here we go. And now we're going to have a look at the intro to Fixing a Hole, which George Martin played on harpsichord. And we'll go over to the initial setting again. And we're using oscillator one on a 16 foot uh, pulse, ah, not, not pulse wave this time. We're actually going to delve into the wavetable, which is this one here. We're going to use wavetable 37. <laughs> That's it, so quite a bright sound, and um, the wave from the wavetable is 005. Now, it's quite an interesting one, actually, this, because if I scroll through this, we get a really nice sort of effect. But we're going to stick, stick with um, wave 005. We're also, um, in a harpsichord, there were different harpsichords made with a, a set of strings that were tuned an octave higher than the original strings. So we need oscillator two on an eight foot waveform, and we're going to use a pulse wave there, pulse width uh, zero six. There we are. Um, now, there's a bit of a wobble to that sound. There shouldn't be a wobble. Let me just... Correct that, there we are. And um, the filter section, we need a low pass filter, 12 dB, cut off 80. There we are, key track 108. Just make sure that we've got yeah, both oscillators in there, that's right. Um, filter amount 27. That's it. And the tack time zero, decay 75. Um, sustain zero, release zero. And on the amplifier section, we need a decay of 78 and sustain zero. We're also going to finish that off with a little bit of reverb 
and the reverb time is 36. So this is imitating a sort of a smaller room and level 64. And that concludes our journey into the Sergeant Pepper keyboard intro sounds.